Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and let's get art journaling today. So this is my use it up journal and it's a journal that if you're not familiar with my channel, I just slap extra painting and stencils when I'm using them on other projects and it gives me backgrounds, which if you're feeling lazy like I am or just want to find some precious time in your schedule like I have no time uh, then it's a really good way to get some projects done so this page already has the background on there and I can tell that it's a lot of texture paste so this one has like texture paste that's been palette knifed in the background and then the darker one is through a stencil and then the pink is um, a Tim Holtz hexagon stencil that I used in the art journal video two weeks ago if you haven't seen that one I think it's called Little Bub. The picture that I'm using today is from a Frankie magazine and I just really liked it. Now this is a bit of a somber page. Um, I don't know why it was sad but it just, I found this quote and I just thought it was really cute and it went well with this picture. Um, but I am, I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling okay. It was just, I don't know why this page looked, I think they, I think it was because they looked sad, the actual girls. They didn't look happy that I put this quote with them. So I'm using some scotch tacky glue to glue that down because as you can imagine, the page is very textury with all that texture paste. How many times can I say texture in this video? So I stuck the girls down and then I wanted to use some of these beautiful florals. So I just ripped some and I'm going to stick that up the top. My favorite magazines, if you're one of my patrons, um, I had a video about harvesting images over there on Patreon for uh, magazines and which ones I like the best. These ones are all from Frankie and they're very matte, so they're not glossy and shiny, which makes them easy to stick down and easy to work on top of as well. So I've got my girls and I always try to do it so that the focal image, if they're looking a certain direction, that they're looking into the page. I just find it's a bit more pleasing on the eye and you're not left wondering what are they looking at? It's just a, it's just my eyes playing tricks on me if I do it the other way. So now I'm going to get a little bit of paint. I'm mixing up, I think it was, looks like maybe cherry pie and the white from the Dilutions paints. And I've got this stencil and I think this stencil is from Flutter by Designs. It's a circly one. And I just wanted to do a bit of stenciling, sorry about the shaking of the camera, um, over the top of the image and the background because I just find that it then ties the focal images in a little bit more and it doesn't look like they're so plonked on the page. I'm also just smushing a bit of paint around the outside because why not? Why not? This was a very, um, I just want to get messy today page. I just wanted to get some stuff done. So next up I'm using some bubble wrap and bubble wrap, like I said in the last art journal video, is a great way to add some texture to your page without actually adding texture. So I'm just painting some on and then patting it on. And you'll notice that when I do pat it on, I don't pat it like a rectangle of bubble wrap. I kind of just put my fingers over it in certain spots so that it kind of looks, I hate this word, but it looks a bit more organic rather than very blocky. Uh, when I do my stenciling and things like this, I don't like the blocked edges. You can do the blocked edges. That's fine. There's no rules. Um, it's just something that I'm not a fan of. So I try to be wary of that when I'm using um, paints and stencils. So now I've got this quote that I just thought it was a nice way to say sadness, like happy sadness. Um, so I thought this was just a sweet one and I'm just writing it in her hair because why not? Um, but magazines are really, especially like the artsy hipster ones like Frankie over here in Australia. Um, they're great ways to get artwork into your art journals if you're not feeling confident in drawing your own faces or drawing your own items and animals and all sorts of things. There's always pictures around that you can use for collage. So I'm adding a few little tears to my little girls, but it's all right. They're happy tears. They're happy tears. Um, and I'm just using my Stadler uh, pigment liner in probably, I'm guessing, a 0 0.2 or 1. And now I'm using my Uni 
chalk texter, which as I said in the last video is just a chalk texter that has been pretty much used up in another project and it's only got a tiny bit left to go and I'm very messily splatting it. Now be warned, if you do that technique, you will get paint everywhere and I'm not responsible. It it does get everywhere, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm adding a few little glitter hearts. Now they do get a bit lost in the background on camera, but in real life you can see them quite well. And I just love little gold hearts. Um, I basically just use any mini heart punch I possibly can find. I've got one from American Crafts. I've got one from Martha Stewart. I've got one from Fiskers. Just I'm sure in your local craft shop you can find small heart punches somewhere if you're looking to um, make your own little glitter hearts. And then I've got my Tim Holtz Small Talk Tiny Word Stickers. You know I love a good Tiny Word Sticker peeps, especially if you follow me on my main channel. And I'm just adding a few little bits because I felt like it needed another hit of white because you've got the white of a hair, but it just needed a little extra something. Now this layout, I think I only sped it up not even two times. I think it was like 180%. So this took about 10 minutes to do. And having this use it up journal is such a good way to find a little crafty little envelope of time in your busy day and schedules. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying art journaling videos and um, so that other people can find my videos that aren't already an inklet and I'll see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>